What's up everyone, welcome back to Senior Olympic Gaming. Today we are looking at this Snap 3 Pro phone grip. Okay, first off, why did I decide to buy one of these things? Well, targeted ads, what can I say? They got me. To be real though, sometimes I do like to use a phone grip or a pop socket type thing, uh, especially when traveling. I used to have this Batman one, which I still keep on my desk. It's really good, really sturdy, especially the kickstand part. Uh, however, I did have to keep taking my phone out of the case to wirelessly charge it. So here we are, let's open it up. Uh, in the back, there's some instructions telling you that you're a dummy. So you know what? I'm not gonna scan this QR code because I don't like being spoken down to. <laughs> but seriously though, I've spent a week with this phone grip already so I do have some thoughts. Here it is attached to my Samsung S23 Ultra. I got the navy green one to kind of match the green of the phone. And as you can see, it does live up to its promise of being very low profile. Uh, it's very slim, I like that about it. So plus points for that. It's very light, so it doesn't add a very much heft to an already heavy phone plus a phone case. The first time you pop it out of its socket, it is a little stiff, uh, but it gets better in time. One thing I don't like about the design uh, is where the plastic folds in those arms. I just can't see them lasting very long, but I think that's just the concession that they had to make in order to get the phone grip to be so slim. And here it is with the kickstand out. Like I said, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is a pretty heavy phone, plus you add the weight of the case to that, but the kickstand still works fine. Don't believe the videos that says that it'll just fall over on its own. They're just trying to make it fall over. Um, unless you're using the kickstand in a moving vehicle, uh, on a gravel road in the middle of nowhere, it'll work fine. Here it is as a phone grip, pretty basic, nothing much to say about that. Uh, it's snug enough that it feels secure, and after a week of using it, it doesn't feel like it's gotten any looser, so that's great. Another thing the Snap 3 Pro does is it still allows wireless charging, so let's check that. And it works! Perfect! It still says it's fast charging too. Uh, I'm sure it's going to slow down the charging somewhat because it's a little further away from the charging coil, but I usually wirelessly charge overnight anyway, so this situation still works for me. Here I am just testing it out a few more times just to make sure that it's still pretty convenient and you just have to drop it onto the wireless charger for it to work. You don't have to position it perfectly each time. Seems to be working fine for me. And then I'll just show you here uh, how much further it is from the actual charger. So you have to believe that there will be some slowdown in terms of wireless charging speed, but just for the situation that I use my wireless charger in, it's still acceptable. I just pop it on there overnight and it's still good. And the last feature that the Snap3 Pro does is it's magnetic. So you can just pop it onto any magnetic surface and the magnet actually holds pretty good uh, for such a heavy phone. It, it holds it pretty steady. There you go, it's on the fridge, perfect for making TikToks in front of the fridge, I guess. So I will not get any use out of that. There it is attached to the microwave. Also, the magnets make any Android phone MagSafe compatible, so if you're into that ecosystem, then that's great. And finally, here is the kickstand feature of the phone grip. Now, my one gripe about it is the angle that it's in. I wish it were a little higher up. But in terms of stability, it looks pretty stable to me. I'm going to press it uh, in a few different ways here, uh, just as you would if you're watching something on the phone, and it works fine. So would I recommend the Snap 3 Pro? Well, I think it's too early to tell. The durability of the product remains to be seen. I've only had it for a week, but so far so good. And I think that will be just the final determining factor on whether this product is worth purchasing. For me personally, it does tick off all of the boxes of what I was looking for. I wanted a phone grip, I wanted a kickstand, but I also wanted it to be super duper slim, and I also wanted to be able to wirelessly charge without having to take the phone out of the case. Maybe in the future I'll do a follow-up video just to see how the phone grip is holding up, but as of now, those are my thoughts on the Snap 3 Pro. 
thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and then maybe consider subscribing to this channel that would be awesome cheers guys see you soon bye